All right, so here we are with chapter number 10 of your vocational subject, basic computing. And this is essentially one of the most common thing you generally do, which is called securing the computer. You know, the flip side of today's technology where you do everything, online shopping, you know, GPay, the banking, booking a show on Make My Show, or railway or flight tickets on ClearTrip or Booking.com, even the online courses, everything that we do, there's a price to be paid. And the price is you are always under threat by cyber hackers, isn't it? So this is where you'll have to learn how to work on the entire concept. The cyber threat is real. They are vigilantes. So today in this chapter, we learn about cyber laws and also e-waste management. Essentially, how do you dispose of your gadgets? What are the pros and cons? 10.1 talks about cyber security. Cyber security refers to processes, practice, and technique. So remember, process, practice, that is what you do, and technique, what are the available tools for protecting our network, our devices, and program from attacks. In fact, a very strange word is called a Trojan attack, a virus attack. You know, in the earlier time, Achilles was a hero. They put, uh, the Greeks put a Trojan horse, a wooden horse, as a goodwill gesture. But they did not know, the Romans did not know that there were soldiers hiding inside and when the Trojan horde went inside the castle or the fort and all of these soldiers came out in the night and that's where the word Trojan comes from. This is where we talk about the cyber security risk involved. It is also referred as IT security or information technology security and this is a very, very common way of looking into it or cyber security which is where there is a cyber cell to prevent cyber crime in most of the local police stations under the IPC Indian Penal Code. The purpose of this is to prevent these attacks and take measure if somebody is fraudulently, you know, there is a series called Jam Tara uh, where they talk about phishing. The word is not F, it's P-H-I-S-I-N-G. Phishing means where you collect unauthorized data and, and never ever, remember I keep sharing, never share your OTP and your toothbrush, but do not share your passwords and OTPs with anybody, especially unsuffrious or un authorized links. Why is the need for cybersecurity? If a quick question comes in, there are so many 150 billion users. So your data is on the internet, whatever you post on Facebook, your, everybody knows your you know, personal history, where you've gone. So your available data is for everybody, which is why somebody can call you and tell you a certain thing about your own personal history, which you, you, you don't know if he's you know, really is just taken from the internet. Protecting organizational data. Today, uh, so many organizations are spywares, Chinese spy companies, as they call it, the satellites, competitors, Coke wants to know, you know, ethical companies are there, but you want to know what the competitor done? That's one area. Personal safety and social media data protection. So important. Today, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn is prone to hacking, not trolling. Hacking is where people check your, you know, actors and actresses are very worried when they get to know. Recently, there was a shooting in Salman Khan's Galaxy apartment. All these information is available. People will use it against you. National security, which is called digital spying. So, you know, Russia, China, America, all of them have spies, satellites, which is very dangerous. You get to know about where, you know, imagine when India did the Pokhran test. Pokhran was number two under Atal Bihari Vajpayee, the prime minister. Then India made sure that America is not aware of what is happening there. We played a cricket match, very interesting story, Pokhran, Pokhran 2, which is in Rajasthan. And we didn't want anyone to know that we were trying to test a, a, a weapon, a huge weapon, right? So, so the, the code word was, was called Smiling Buddha. Very interestingly, because it was done on Buddh Purnima, it was done on the birthday of Gautama Buddha, and that's why it's called Smiling Buddha. But that is national security measure, and we need to make sure the sensitive data is not leaked to any other nations who is interested in India's secret documents. So how do you keep your data secure. Most importantly, always protect your password. Keep updating it. Don't share your password. Please don't keep your password as your favorite name, your cat's name, your date of birth. Make sure there is a common password, but also keep changing it every now and then. Think of a series. Let's say you love recipes. This is an example. Think of a, of a recipe and keep changing the code words. It's easier for you, but that's the way you can com combine a beautiful password. A strong combination of password must have 8 to 10 characters, alphanumeric, right? So it's always important to have capital letter. And now, now special let characters are important. So important is very important. You can use a password manager. 
it's an application available nowadays because there's so many passwords and you may not remember them so often. Update your systems. Most of us, unfortunately, if you use a, a, a pirated version of Windows, it is bound to have a lot of malwares and viruses installed. So also, when you have the pop-up messages, disable them. It's very dangerous. Pop-up messages could be a, a virus coming, attacking you. If there's a security warning, please don't ignore it. It's like health warning. Like sometimes we ignore a lot of diabetes, obesity, and we ignore it to our own peril. Install original antivirus. McAfee is one example that you can think of. There are many under antiviruses in, in available Android or iOS. And original is important because it keeps you safe. Also, never open unsolicited emails. So there is an email which says you won a lottery or somebody from Nigeria is sending a lot of money through the dead uncle. Stop believing in such false gossips and please don't fall for it. Insurance agents may call you. Somebody may call and say that your insurance of your car or, or something is expiring. So many ways they can, you know, then they're always smarter people. Always download authenticated and reputable software. Today in the gaming world, to download a new anime or a movie, people go to Pikachu, people go to some, some websites which are dangerous. Uh, always when people use VPN networks, you know, you're ignoring the software protocols and you are not realizing for watching that one movie or playing that one game, you're putting all your data at risk, especially if you have emails, which are, which are, you know, important documents there, or your Aadhaar card is there, passwords, bank accounts, all of it is there. Scan your files, even especially when you have them from USBs, make sure, and these are pointers you'll have to remember. Enable a firewall, very important. A firewall is a barrier between your computer and the internet, right? So it's a firewall. It, it controls, you need to enable it. We're going to control panel, SS, system and security. Remember, small, small points. Adjust your browser setting. So what happens is browser is an application which connects you. So basically your Chrome is a browser, your Firefox Mozilla is a browser. You know, when you make the settings higher, so it lowers the risk of being attacked by other outside softwares. Uh, block advertisement, block cookies, you know, uh, if you are using, uh, most of us don't do it now, but if you're using an outside computer, please make sure you know, you, you go to incognito mode and don't use the mode that is commonly used. And of course, incognito, not for your la local laptop, just for the parents not see it. So customize, control Google Chrome and browser settings are very important. Anti-spy software, not necessarily right now, but these are, so spyware is a malware. The malware designed to take information from your databases, banking and credit card details. And it's very easy today with credit cards, you know, make sure you have double authentication, back up your data, can't stress this as well. Now we have Google Drive with your space. A lot of time you've made a PowerPoint, you have this video and it's just lost because you did not bother backing it up. Please make sure to back these up and uninstall the games, the programs, the apps you don't use. Go back. I can guarantee you there'll be five programs, something you downloaded just out of it, Dream 11, doing IPL or a game, which you're not using it and you must uninstall it. Otherwise, it's a very dangerous trend. All right. So quickly, you can check these things and hopefully we'll do a part two of this. But as of now, all the best. You've done good work and make sure you just leave this. This is a very important chapter. Hopefully, you will learn all the important questions that will come. Good luck.